Ladies and gentlemen, now to a record-breaking raid that refuses to end. The Income Tax Department crackdown on the premises and properties linked to Congress MP Dheerat Sahu continue for an eighth straight day today. Till now, 353 crore rupees have been seized. It is the biggest ever cash haul in a single raid in India's history. The investigating agency, as we speak, is now hunting for something else altogether. The Income Tax Department has bought in a geo-surveillance system machine at the Congress MP's Ranchi residence. And through this, officials say they are trying to figure out if there is any gold or metal in any form that is hidden either in the ground or on the walls inside his residence. Dear Saxena is a former principal uh, Chief Commissioner of the Income Tax Department. He's joining us on the broadcast. Uh, dear Saxena, thank you very much for your time here on Mirror. Now, can I, can I ask you, we understand that this is, you know, this is the single largest cash haul in a single raid in India's history. Uh, we see the wads of notes. We understand that some 200 backfuls of notes have been taken away. Uh, how does the income tax team figure out whether there is gold inside someone's house hidden either beneath the ground or in walls? And what does this machine really do? And how does, you know, one seizure lead to another seizure? So, actually, the machine is a, a metal detector. So, it det detects if metal is inside hmm. the wall. And if uh, metal is there, then uh, then they'll see the contours because uh, metal can be of uh, uh, the form of steel rods and all. But if you see the contours, then you'll come to know that it's uh, like uh, something solid, something uh, uh, rectangular. And su suppose it's most of the gold is seized in, in the form of biscuits, then you can make out the uh, their shape and see if uh, if it is really gold and if it is gold then okay. of uh, then the wall can be broken and the gold can be taken out okay mr saxena can i ask you and, uh, uh, we have all put in a formal request to mr action. sahu to speak can i can give me a minute here we put a uh, we put a formal request to mr sahu the congress mp to speak uh, so far, he's uh, not accepted our invitation. So there is an attempt to speak to him, but he's not spoken. But at one point of time, the Congress party was saying that he, you know, at both distilleries to which this money is linked to is a very big, a very old distillery. And there is a certain degree of cash element that goes into the liquor business. Mr. Saxena, looking at what we have seen in the last eight days, this is not a simple case of a cash rich business this is pure and simple black money on our screens isn't it <clears throat> yeah it's black money you are right but uh, as you know all the liquor businesses in cash only like uh, suppose someone comes for liquor and all uh, payment is made in cash and it's uh, made instantly so this business runs in cash and so far as Mr. Sahu is concerned, I understand hmm. that his family has been in the liquor business for the last more than 50 years. And uh, uh, they have been rich people, but uh, this amount of cash is simply mind boggling. I don't think that it can be explained in any way. Uh, probably Mr. Sahu was showing annual income of rupees one crore only and assets of only 34 crores. Right. So it's a tax evasion on a very massive scale, which income tax department will have to figure out how he collected all this cash and uh, uh, the modus operandi, basically, because other liquor traders also may, may have adopted this modus operandi, and they might also have uh, amassed mm -hmm. such huge amounts of cash or if not cash, then unaccounted money in some form. Uh, uh, Mr. Saxena, in your career, uh, as someone who's worked with the IT department, what was your reaction when you saw these wads and wads and wads and wads of notes on your screens? 
I mean, it's not like we've we've had big cash seizures, right? We've had one in Kannauj, uh, not 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 too long ago. But this is this has been mind-boggling yeah. at another level. Yeah, it's mind-boggling because uh, uh, generally s this much amount of cash is not seen because cash is uh, very what do you call it? Uh, uh, it's freely uh, it's legal tender. So someone may steal it. It may be eaten up by termites, and there are so many problems in that. So black money generally is not kept in cash, but the fact that it has it is kept in in cash has some significance it shows that the person who who was keeping this much amount of black money in cash was quite confident that uh, he won't be touched because uh, it's very difficult to prove that uh, this cash was legally earned as you know there is a limit of uh, 2 lakhs on cash transactions so uh, to have so, uh, and the Caesar is around 350 crores and it is going up. So which means that the cash amount was very large and uh, probably it can never be explained that it was earned in a legal fashion. Okay. Uh, Mr. Saxena, that is what surprised me when I saw this much cash. Uh, because I come from Uttar Pradesh and, you know, uh, uh, there are many stories in Lucknow about how certain politicians would convert their cash into diamonds because diamonds are easy to store. I will not name those politicians, uh, but diamonds are easy to store. Most of this cash, uh, for example, could have been converted into gold. The very fact that it hasn't been your right shows some degree of confidence uh, uh, that, that the, the MP had, that the good MP had. But can I ask you, uh, can Mr. Sahu now come and say when the income tax department speaks to him that all right this money is mine this 353 crore rupees that you have seized is mine and I'm willing to pay an income tax on it and if he's willing to pay that income tax on it uh, can he get away can the government say okay you've paid your tax there's nothing we can do to you now <clears throat> uh, pardon I, I didn't get you but uh, from what you have said it, uh, uh, if he goes and declares like ah. that, income tax department will say that why haven't you shown it in your earlier returns? And uh, uh, there's a provision of penalty also, penalty up to 200% of the income, which like 133% uh, uh, is the tax. And if you add that, so it will, uh, the whole amount of, uh, of the black money will be taken away. So. Uh, it's not as simple uh, as that, that he goes there and says that uh, this is mine because then of, he is exposing himself to penalty because he has filed the returns of income for all the earlier years, but he has not disclosed uh, this kind of income in any of his returns. So that means mm -hmm. it is concealed income. He has not shown it and he is liable to penalty on that. And he's liable to be sacked as well, given the fact that he's from the Rajya Sabha. Let's see what the Congress party does. Thank you, Mr. Saxena, for joining us on the broadcast and making us understand what exactly is going on as we see these wads of cash emerge from everywhere, uh, from, from bags, from almiras, uh, from under bed as well. Thank you very much, Mr. Saxena, for joining us. A quick